Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on August 2nd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. You get your daily do right here. Subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you for following. We're gonna start out here looking at our sun as the earth facing filament has stayed in place. But we do have this bow tie coronal hole coming earth facing now during the day today and still watching a little bit of action on the left side of the coronal hole but still not much to talk about except for these coronal holes on the sun which do affect our planet and our weather. Expect an uptick in seismicity in the next couple days, but we have had an uptick in seismicity early this morning, 6.9 in Tugu, Indonesia, at a 10 kilometer depth. So that's three 6.0 and greater earthquakes in the past 48 hours. We also had this 5.4 Southern East Pacific Ridge and the South Pacific Ocean. I haven't seen many earthquakes there, but there was a large low pressure system there battering Argentina. So since the 6.8 yesterday in Argentina, we had another one of 5.8 last night. Pretty sizable aftershocks now, this region right there, San Antonio, Chile, where these earthquakes were, right off the coast. Right where this volcanic line are, is. This line of volcanoes. Off the coast of Chile. So most likely, that large 6.8 earthquake. It's volcanic related. So stay aware and prepared. We do have a lot of active volcanoes. If you haven't seen the volcanic activity report yet, please do so because it is very active. 4.9 recently in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge as well as 4.8 here in Mexico. Also seeing an earthquake swarm in Alaska. Now let's just bring up the last 48 hours so two, last two days of earthquakes, we have seen a small uptick in the Cascadia fault line moving south. So yeah, three large 6.0 and greater earthquakes in the past 48 hours is a definite uptick as we have that coronal hole affecting our planet. So yeah, very busy 48 hours for earthquakes. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, overlooking tropical storms Flossie and Eric, who now the trajectory is showing Flossie going north of Hawaii and Eric going south of Hawaii. So prayers being answered on the Big Island. Both of these tropical storms missing the Big Island. So we do have another tropical storm to talk about <clears throat> who formed yesterday. And now this is Tropical Storm Francisco. And Francisco is heading to South Japan. As well as a very warm Korea. Maybe that'll help cool things off in South Korea. And then we still have Tropical Storm Uifa, who will be dying out in the next 12 to 48 hours, 12 to 24 hours, but could possibly regain strength with another low pressure system over India. Now overlooking here, Indonesia, 6.9 earthquake right beside 
a Krakatoa volcano. 6.9 earthquake, very large. And we had a small uh, Krakatoa activity this last week or so. I'm sure that he's popping today. Let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, five day forecast. Across the United States, watch for extreme weather event. Central Plains into Texas as well. Watch for huge swath of moisture, flooding conditions throughout Miami and Florida and both Carolina states as a tropical low from the Caribbean. We'll be riding the coastline there, South Carolina and North Carolina. Also watch for extreme weather event across Ontario as that cold front comes through later next week. You can definitely see some thunderstorms throughout Ontario and throughout Alberta. Northern Alberta getting a lot of the action recently. At the end of the week, it could change. Could move down to Calgary. Heat wave continuing across western coast. And here's the paths for both Tropical Storm Flossie and Eric. Now Flossie could survive and come back around again like the way Hugo did last season. And here we're looking at Francisco. As well, another low pressure system developing. This could be a sizable typhoon in a couple days. Now I was talking to my lady last night and I had forecasted quite possibly eight tropical storms by my birthday on August 6th is my birthday. I'm expecting to have eight tropical storms spinning on our planet by that time. And the way things are going it could quite possibly happen. As you see here, low pressure Wifa heading into Myanmar, the Sea of Bengal joining with another low. So watch out Pakistan. Tons of rain. Across the Atlantic Ocean, dominant high pressure ridge, not really letting anything form along the equator in the Atlantic, which is good. But maybe the Atlantic is saving some energy for the end of the hurricane season. Could be disastrous conditions are still favorable coming off of Africa all of these low pressure cells overlooking Europe seasonable weather across the continent low pressure cell from the Atlantic bringing a lot of rain to the United Kingdom as well large low pressure system in Western Russia been spinning around there for days bring storms rain heavy winds let's have a look at our southern hemisphere <clears throat> still very large low pressure system spinning around Antarctica looks like Australia could get some weather later in the week southeastern parts as well as Tasmania cooling off considerably and as well South America Argentina still being battered by all these low pressure cells thanks for watching today this has been Mike with Morning Dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching if you made it to this far God bless you and thank you Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.
Thank you.